Welcome to Div Tech 101, aka Black Mantle, so we discuss information technology, also known as IT. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the WMIC tool, which is the Windows Management Instrumentation command line tool to basically manage software installations, but we're going to be doing the uninstalls today in a few steps. So we're going to list the install software, we're going to execute and uninstall by it by using a command and we're going to verify the installation at least twice in the CLI controls and also in the control panel as well. Listen. So before we get into any of that people, I definitely want to make sure that you are aware that the things that we're doing on this channel is definitely going to be for education and entertainment purposes only. So uh, most of you are probably going to skip through to the exact point in the video, but I definitely want to go over the ground rules um, is that the information on the channel is for education and entertainment purposes only. So you're doing this at your sole discretion. If you're in a company environment, get permission. Uh, if you're not and in your home lab, like in my previous video that I did, um, explaining how to set up a home lab and what to get, I would much prefer you do it in that environment before you do it in a corporate environment. I've done this myself personally and I've used it um, in a corporate environment to uninstall um, software from computers. Now there are some very, very important notes that I definitely want to go over with you all. And there are four key points that I want you to take away from this video. I want to make sure that you have the accuracy as far as the name of the program that you're going to be uninstalling exactly as it appears up in the list, which I'm going to show you here in a second. You're definitely going to use this with caution to be sure because it can affect your system configuration um, as far as the uh, software and everything. So it definitely, especially in the production environment. And then the potential slowdown of the software could be caused on your workstation because it's pulling the information. So depending on the size of the program, it's going to really determine how fast it's going to um, check it out here. So it may trigger a consistency check on the installed software. And last but not least, the alternatives. I mean, you can use PowerShell scripts that did do this. Uh, I've heard some people using batch files, some people using PSExec. Uh, PSExec is used when you are on a remote workstation and you're remoting into another station in order to uninstall. I've done it from my personal perspective from a Mac directly over to a PC. So I'm primarily a Mac user and what I normally do is I remote into a Windows station and then I use, I download PowerShell exec to that station and then I uh, use the PS exec command to remote into my other remote workstation to uninstall software. So um, we'll get to that at a later video at some point. Let's just get through with the basics uh, here. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, we're going to pull up two different windows here. And these two windows is what we're going to use to try out something here. So once we open this up, I'm going to immediately go ahead and I'm going to go to the CMD and I'm going to do open. And then my second window that I'm going to open up here is going to be CMD as well. But I'm going to run as administrator. And I'm going to tell you why. The reasoning is just in case this program does not uninstall by itself using the standard command line without admin rights, just in case it doesn't uninstall that way, we have a backup, okay? And they're both gonna be the same um, window here. So I'm also going to pull up the control panel just to prove to you that this way is gonna be best to check. Always check your work, 100%. All right, so I got WMIC, and you can go back to the standard um, uh, a prompt here for the beginning by using CD and I can do the same over here and then here I want to use the WMIC so as you can see both of these all right so I'm going to do for so on the standard non admin run even though I'm logged in as an administrator I'm going to do WMIC product get name and over here, I'm going to do product get name. The reason why I'm not using WMIC over here is because it's already in the WMIC root folder here. Both of them list Adobe Acrobat. So I'm going to do WMIC product 
where name is equal to open uh, quotations Adobe Acrobat 64-bit close quotation space uninstall space forward slash no interactive I'm gonna let that one run actually let me go back and check this idea something wrong here let's see product where name is equal to Adobe Acrobat space 64 bit and I need to put these in parentheses here that was my mistake that happens sometimes I type a produce instead of product all right there we go that's gonna run it's gonna give us some output then for here I'm gonna do um, product where name is equal to open parentheses there and I'm going to do Adobe Acrobat 64 bit and there's nothing wrong with making mistakes uh, you learn from them as you can see I'm doing this spot on here so um, I've done this you know as well a couple of times but I still kind of miss key some things but that's okay I, once I see the output I knew I typed something wrong so just be careful and for here I'm going to do uninstall no interactive I'm not going to hit enter yet because I want to show you something here even though it shows successful right here if I do the refresh of this screen see how Adobe is still there but if I come over here in my admin screen I hit enter it's gonna execute I should get the same method execution as successful may take it a few seconds but that's okay all right it shows method successful and notice the values here return value 1603 but then I have return value of zero when you get the return value of zero that should mean something here. So then if I go back over here, I do WMIC product get name. It's gonna list a it's not gonna list Adobe because I ran it in this window over here to the right and, and it is uninstalled. But if it but if I didn't run this, Adobe would show up on this side. So now if I refresh my control my control panel program and features, Adobe is uninstalled. All right. So I'm gonna try, um, so now that I have this here, I'm going to do an exit. Over here, you have to do exit, that puts you back into your prompt, clear screen, and then I'm gonna do exit. So now our program is uninstalled, so I think that pretty much, people, wraps up today's uh, video. So if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe to the channel, uh, DivTech 101, aka Black Mantle. Look forward to bringing more technology content uh, to you all soon. Please share any comments and concerns below in the video and uh, look forward to you seeing you on the next round.